She's like, oh, this makes my daddy issues tingle. <laughs> the culture tradition. <laughs> right? We believe in tradition. Like, like yeah. out of the dumbest thing, there's not a single cop on the planet that would say that and mean it. And if they do say that and mean it, they're idiots. We'll keep going. So she's for sure getting she's it. She's for sure getting She's getting it off on her. So anyways. What is going on, Internet? Welcome to Only Cops. This is going to be our officers react to The Rookie. Season 1, Episode 3. I believe this is Tim Goes to Therapy. Let's go see the clip. One's mm. nuts. Mm. <laughs> Front of gold, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nope. That's a good one. Are you okay so, to do this? We can ask uh, for another unit. Tim is design. back from getting shot here. I guess. Because this is episode three. We recovered quick. Yeah. How do you identify a motorcycle club, who? Uh, the three rockers on the back of their jackets. They show gang name, logo, and state of origin. Dead monsters I'm seeing. Which one of these guys is the most dangerous? Can you see them? Those are prospects. They haven't earned their top rocker yet. There's only one way to get it. Commit a felony in view of another gang member. Which means what? <laughs> Somebody's going to fight us when we get out of this car. Exactly. Should we yeah. call for backup then? Very accurate. Where's the fun in that? That the dumbest thing. Mm. It's up there is one of the dumbest things we've ever heard in the show. Especially when you're dealing with but I just said, MC gang. Either like, you're man enough to come at me or you're not. Now who needs a felony? What are you doing? I'm not gonna repeat He's myself. This is a one time offer fight. and it's about to expire. You beat me, I won't even book you. I beat you, oh, yeah. you go to jail and your buddies hit the road. Come on, Gordon, go. Uh, don't turn your back to this big old crowd. Let well, them duke it out. He decided to be an idiot. Yeah, no kidding. Because there's other prospects there, so. Well, that elbow would be devastating. Yep. Also, getting punched in the rib cage with the vest on is probably not going to hurt that. After you just had surgery from getting oh, shot. Oh, I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. Oh, you're not going to make it into the club now. Oh, no, no, they got the felony. Mm, maybe. Seven out of 19. Type changes to event to a felony assault. Warning custody. What the hell was that? Control work, food. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. No stir. She's like, oh, this makes my daddy daddy issues tingle. <laughs> Good way to get fired. Fired? I'm more nervous about killed. Much more nervous I mean, about killed. Yeah. Uh, Chances are they only had knives. Oh, in California, I didn't think about that. And I didn't think about cops that. have guns. Yeah. So, um, well, likely could have got her killed. Hundred like, percent. Pretty easily. Oh yeah. But even most motorcycle gangs don't ride around with guns. No. Too they, often. They don't want to. Well, they don't want to pay the felony. A 100%. lot of them. A lot of them are already felons. Yeah. I think that's how they got initiated or whatever. So. That they committed a felony. In more like else. you're more talking. Bigger blades and stuff like that. Yeah, I just like terrible example as an FDA. I, I, I think as a as a conversation piece, they're not trying to paint this in a positive light, right? Like it's no. not like, oh, you no. know, Officer Ford being a badass. No. But like I think that the it's pre contextual for him going through some life stuff. Sure. It's just like that's what it is. As a technically and she's a she's a rookie. Mm -hmm. So worse, she's a rookie at field training. So what is she really gonna tell this officer, right? Good luck if you go report it. That's what I mean. Because, like, it's probably the right thing to do, but then you're marked for forever. For the department. Like, for forever. Good Especially luck. someone like LAPD where yeah. the culture is. Tradition. Runs here. <laughs> right? We believe in tradition. Like, like they'll. Boot. I don't know, man. Oh. oh. These fools are the last thing I want to do with right now. Talk. You want to tell me what the hell is going on? We're filming stunts for our YouTube channel. Logan's brother did it and made hella cash. That's not illegal, right? He said Making hella cash? No, but reckless driving is. Yo! Oh, the hell? Yo, this is Officer Creeper. Sending a special shout-out to all the Wait, single ladies out there. Get out the car now! Step out! I'm good with drawing down. 100%. Hands on the hood. Hey, we're going to go hands, Doug? Here we go. How did you get in there? The doors were locked. The passenger side was it? Uh, the button would lock them both. 
Yeah, that's, a, that's inaccurate. You have to use a key to lock your explorer. That's a that's a that's a fleet that's a fleet discussion. Yeah, come uh, on. I, I, this is not. Oh my god, I can't believe she he, like he. If you anything, have to push your own lockdown. If anything, she's looking at him like the fuck you didn't lock it. And if the question, if the answer was the passenger, no, Are, I don't. Buy do it. they want us to believe that it's not a power lock explorer? It's yeah. manual lock. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it is a patrol car. So. It, yeah, maybe. <laughs> you right. have to roll down the window. Yeah. So, how do you want to write this one up? Carefully. Or you know Raise a stickler for proper procedure. What? Well, if it isn't oh, Officer Pooty Poot, please come in. I'm on the bench. You, me. Officer Nolan, leaving a police vehicle unlocked so that your suspect can give a shout out over the shock radio. It's cause for discipline. Carelessness like that will not be tolerated here. Do you understand me? Understood, sir. Now, what's going to happen next? Sir, I left my door unlocked. It wasn't Nolan. Honesty is based. Now. That's how you know she's a good FTO. Yep. Whoa. You going to tell me how it went with Sergeant Gray? He put me on undocumented oral counseling. For leaving a door unlocked? I deserve it. I lost focus. But at least it's not on my record. Look, I appreciate you trying to cover for me. No problem. But it doesn't mean you're right about how you see people, Doc. You think I did that to try and prove a point? <laughs> Trust me. I'm no Gandhi. I just don't think someone's life should be ruined because right. of one bad day. You're my partner. My training officer. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, Nolan? Not passing the buck on responsibility. 100%. Based. Because... To be fair, he was driving. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't, he was in control of the vehicle, yeah, right? I don't buy that it didn't lock if his door locked. However, let's say in this fantasy world, and maybe someone correct me in the comment section below, that the that door somehow has to be manually locked. Sure. Then sure, I'll That's buy fine. it. But also... The tradition. Yeah, tradition. Yeah, in, in LAPD mm -hmm. patrol vehicles, they take away the electronic lock, so you have to get a key out to lock the door. 100%. Right? Given the radio policy, that makes 100% Probably, sense. Probably, yeah. Mega-based that she refused to let him take that fall. Mega-based. That, that's, that's, again, taking accountability for what you've done and not lying about it. I give mm -hmm. her a super huge pass on that. That's what's up. Lopez West. Zombie robbers just flipped on their partners. Swats hitting the house. We're providing tactical support. Me and the bullpen at five. That's uh. All right, let's get program. started. Our <laughs> targets are Steve Bauer... Kai Devera, bit of an odd couple. Bauer is known for at least six hardcore 211s, a lot of collateral damage in his wake. Oh, look, the Devera real did two there. tours <laughs> as a door gunner on a Black Hawk, was under the radar till she hooked up with Bauer about a year ago. Remember, if anything, she's far more dangerous than he is. Sergeant Laubacher will be giving you the briefing. He's in charge of tonight's operation, so listen up. Thank you, Captain. Targets are at a house in the hills over the Sunset Strip. Ingress is limited, so we'll be coming in hot. Team one will be primary entry, deploying flashbangs and breaching tools. Team two, break and rake the back glass door. Tactical support, you're out of perimeter. Sergeant Gray has your positions. We'll go through detailed assignments on the drive in. My team. Why not now? Let's go. <laughs> it's well, why not now? Yeah, I guess it's the right, right people. So we could do this whole thing in five minutes without flashbangs and bearcats, but. Fuck that, Sergeant. We could get this done in five minutes without flashbangs. You sure about that? Yeah. I doubt it. The skill difference in that specific use case, yeah. way higher with SWAT. Yeah. Well, that's all they do. And I'm not saying patrol's perfectly they have capable. Better tools. Yeah. Is patrol perfectly capable of kicking in a door and go getting a guy? Yes. If you have cops that are very active and are, it's like their first year on the job, yeah, you have plenty of regular patrol well, guys that can go in there. And, they do it all the time. Probably weekly. You have a domestic with exigency. you got to go kick the door and go do the thing. Yeah. You've got an uh, ag assault in progress where somebody's bleeding in a house. you got to go get them. Mm -hmm. There's similar yeah. operations you're doing, but they're happening right then and there. You go in there and you have the skills. However, if you know the suspects are there, you know the suspects are armed, and you want to develop a, an arrest plan, they have yeah. way more tools, way more training yeah. around it. And it just, it's, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. I don't know, that's stupid. It would be dumb to sit there and say, yeah. we can run this warrant better than SWAT. Yeah. Out of the dumbest thing, there's not a single cop on the planet that would say that and mean it. And if they do say that and mean it, they're idiots. We'll keep going. SWAT has us on guard duty. So, 
Make sure they take it seriously. So I won't be embarrassed at the next special ops picnic. Yes, sir. We won't let you down, Sergeant. You didn't have to, you didn't have to add that. I'm, sure with, I'm with his look. Is it really a special ops picnic? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, if SWAT's if SWAT's getting deployed, you ain't doing shit. Did you ever were, did you ever sit in on a SWAT briefing? No. It was nothing like that. It was so detailed. Like, that's what I, that's why I was like, wait, like, you mean to tell me you're gonna wait till we're on the way to be like, okay, no. so you're gonna be here. No. And you're gonna Dude, I sat in on a SWAT briefing and they hand you a packet of papers. I believe it. That has like written descriptions of the house. Uh. It details this like the A, B, C, and D side. How many windows? How many doors? One story, two story. Where they're going to make entry on what? What they're going to make entry like? Yeah, they have their whole thing. Like, that's why they don't just show up. Like, they don't do anything like off yeah. the cuff. They have everything planned out. There's and we did a, uh, we did a. I was on one on a house, and then when I was shadowing narcs, we did, uh, like a buy, and sure. SWAT was there for the buy. Dude, it was even longer for that because I there was undercover imagine. officers. There's contingencies and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. it was insane. Yeah. It, I'm talking like an hour plus. All of my interactions with SWAT were pulling patrol to either stop a car. Yeah. Because they had a car that was leaving or yeah. a car of interest or whatever. Or it was they needed a Or it was a, street a call shutdown, out where you're not going to be part of yep. the briefing anyways. Yep. So. so they were getting called out. They were That's, like, hey. Like I get it's TV. It's got to make yeah. it quick. But yeah. like. But they, they, if they, SWAT's oof. involved and if SWAT's going to do something, they're a very meticulous group of people. Sucks you have to be down here. Yeah, we'll get used to it. Patrol is lowest on the totem pole when it comes to yeah. operations like this. As they Robert should Washington's be. a necessary part of police work. There's nothing to look down on. Is he for real? Yep. Doesn't have a plan B, though. What? Oh, well, that's just crazy. I've been dealing with this crap all day. Officer Nolan, this is your plan B, right? Uh, more like plan D. First it was astronaut, and lost for the instruction, then this. This doesn't work out, I'm thinking beauty school. Oh, look. Oh, wow! Should we go up there? No, but we should spread out and cover the perimeter. Look, he you gets, good, Doug? He gets around gunshots, and he's already running to run back to the car. Uh, typically, you don't move on the, on a perimeter unless the guy's moving. Stop! It's over, Anakin. I have the high breath. So, I don't necessarily buy that they would be able to get away from SWAT that easily. Hell no! Because SWAT sets a pretty strong perimeter so, themselves. So, in my experience when doing with this, right, so SWAT goes and, and sets their shit. So they have, they have their especially, own... Especially, they have two teams. Yeah. So you're going to have an entry team and a containment team. Yeah. And then there's patrol. Yeah, outside. And then maybe there's a helicopter. Maybe. Like, there's no... I mean, if you're an LAPD, you should have a helicopter. Sure. But... Or uh, we even had an aviation unit that just yeah, used drones. drones. Yeah, drones. And, and they dr the, they started using drones for a lot of stuff. Like, yeah. Like, a lot of SWAT stuff. So, like, I don't know if you get in a firefight with SWAT, A, that, that doesn't end in, like, about half a second. Yeah. Right? If you're starting to exchange gunfire with SWAT... I don't like my chances if I'm a bad guy already. But then you're not probably oh, no. running away without right. getting radio traffic. Yeah. When you set a perimeter, there's only certain spaces they can physically leave, right? Without jumping a fence or whatever. So you're not going to be like a roaming perimeter. Hey, maybe they didn't have a very detailed plan. You know and what? That's what, what, what you happens. get. That's what you get when you do the plan on the way. Yeah. We'll keep going. Where's that backup? Yeah, to get a fist fight with his guest. There. Hit that running suspect. Shout out to, uh, oh no, they're going to take this, this ambulance hostage. She's running into a hospital. 7 out of 15, we are code 6 sync. Oh. We're going to be suspect at large in the hospital. Uh, your gun is definitely out. Your gun is There's definitely out. There's a woman in a green army jacket run through here. Down that also, you can't just run the into an ER that is we have an armed suspect on the loose. I guess I There's like a key thing, unless you caught it like a normal Yeah, normally ERs are 
maybe not the like front entrance, but like that, so, you're not gonna be able to get in that that easy. The other thing too, and, and at least this was the case in our city, uh, we were able to tell dispatch to notify surrounding yeah. people that had radios with guns and yeah. stuff like that. We'd be able to notice hospital PD or hospital security that something was coming their way, and, and like they would have locked down that hospital anyways. Yeah, hundred percent. So, but we'll see. Shout out to Hollywood. Flashlight's on, Boot. Eyes right. Uh, on pause it. No. It's pretty bright. Uh, you are fully lit. This is like as good a lighting condition as you can ask for at for, night. At night. Um, trust your eyes. They, they work for a reason. If you do not see them illuminate, they have the same lighting conditions you do unless you're entering or leaving structures, right? Free advice if you happen to be a police officer that happens to be running after somebody in the dark. Uh, don't like telegraph where you're at by shining a flashlight. When you need to see something that's clearly not lit enough, turn the flashlight on, inspect what you need to inspect, and then turn it off. Free advice for people that don't do stuff at night. Not lights on, boot. Shut the fuck up. He's right. else today. I got the left side covered. Yeah. What is he illuminating? A truck. Oh, you know how he knew where to shoot? Seven out of nineteen. Shots fired at our location, requesting backup and airship. Everyone's requesting an airship. The good news is he's trapped. You thought that at the SWAT raid. If I go over yeah. this trailer, I'll come up on top of him. With all due respect, I should go. Forget it. Improvisation is a useful tool for a rookie. Are we really having this conversation? <laughs> you passed tonight's test. Why she's in that truck when the truck next to her has a whole ass engine block that she couldn't find up. Hey, shout out to shout out to athleticism though. Look at this agility. Oh, look how bright it is. Yeah. Like a floodlight. I do like this L-shaped ambush here though. You smoke this guy? Is that you saying that? Yep. Police! Yep. Drop your Boom! Weapon. Shot. If he raised even slightly. Yeah. Bro, look at the barrels like pointed at her! Bro, wow. that, that's wild. Maybe at first he was like him. this. So I'm saying if you catch him like this, right. yeah. and he goes like that, he's got her. What do you want? Applause? Get down here. Yes, I would like applause. Seven out of 19, code four. One in custody, one outstanding. She's like had a tenth of the career of knowing Careful, that. this girl was a door <laughs> <laughs> Do you um, think some of his career rubs off on her at night? Hey, every once in a while. Maybe, 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 yeah, you're probably right. One, no, they cut that off. Didn't they stop it. that? One Didn't they stop it. that? I don't know. They stopped that nonsense? Did they? Maybe. Not yet. It feels like episode five they cut that off. <laughs> <laughs> so she's for sure getting she's it. She's for sure getting it. She's getting it off, dude. Um, pause real quick. Though having the guns out, I'm down for because they're actively searching unknown threat areas. Muzzle discipline's pretty important. It's hard to accomplish with a handgun, but just for funsies. Be That's just tough. a smidge more mindful. That's tough. High ready, low ready is your best friend here. Like side ready is not a great idea. I'd probably be mostly down. Yeah. Yeah. Just cause like. Yeah. See no flashlight. Look at him crushing it. Her no flashlight. Doing great. How are they gonna intercept? Wow, weak sauce. Damn. Wait, why would she, I guess it'd be easy to track. Where's she gonna go? <laughs> I love this part. And you just give up because this is a line you won't cross. What? what? Oh, no, come on. You're gonna tase somebody that's holding a gun at a fellow officer. I mean, to get on your best side. You okay? Yeah. Wow. Yep. I'd change my pants out too. Guess now we'll never know what choice she was gonna make. You're the only one still in doubt here, Officer Nolan. I just saved your life. Like it? Hundred percent. Like it? Case. That's a hundred percent. Not sure I would have chose the taser to do it. But, I mean, 
Hey, but based, based for not running around the, like in a yeah. fully lit area okay. with your flashlight. Hundred percent. Yeah, I, I respect it. Um, checking your corners is important. Now, could this chick have like hid and done something kind of sneaky to get up on him? Yes. yes. And you're not going to try to do a drawdown when somebody's already drawn down on you. But and also the noise from the helicopter, great. Would have made it easier. Her. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. But um, I guess shout out to them for for doing most of the getaway. Yeah. They took two people into custody. Pretty good. I guess they get to go laugh at SWAT now. And for sure, if they broke both the initial in, like ingress into the house and that hard perimeter that SWAT yeah. set, the clowning would be real. I'd send them like mail and stuff. I wouldn't. Selfies? No. <laughs> no, I sure wouldn't. That being said, the like heinous Those gun... are not the dudes that I want to be on the bad side of. Should have done the job. You just don't ever see it. it I'm not saying it can't happen. It for sure could happen. But, but to have two teams, like two full SWAT teams. With an arrest that, plan or whatever, yeah. and then having a hard perimeter. But I love what it did for the show. I agree. That was great. I agree. It was interesting. Because it was, it was great to see, uh, what's her name, Nectat, get that guy. Yeah. Custody. That was great. Gonna go get some more than Nolan, that. Nolan, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Got dunked on for once. Kind of. Well, no, he gets dunked on every time. He spent like a lot to this show getting a gun he's pointed at him. down, though. Yeah. So got that He's verbal judo skills. That. Um, I it, it was at least an exciting episode. We'll yeah. say that only because we didn't have to see Officer West very much. Because you know what? That, again, that he froze up. That made it a better. He's the, a little bitch. That made it a better episode, I think. So he far. is, dude. And we had honesty, honesty, and transparency, and accountability in this. I'll yeah. go ahead and give it. I'll give it an A plus. I loved it. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, that'll be it for this episode. If you guys like this type of content and would like to see more, go ahead and give us a uh, like, comment, and tell us what you guys want to go see. And uh, subscribe. Uh, check us out. We're live both Tuesdays and Thursdays, 7.30 Central Standard Time. We go live and go hang out with us for a little bit. If you'd really like to get involved, you can join the Patreon group. It's as little as a dollar a month, and that gives you access to our Discord. Until next time, thank you for writing to Man with us today. Peace.